Okay, so now let's move ahead to the section three. That is the BTP management. Okay. So in this BTP management part, what are the things that we will be covering here? Let's understand. We will be learning the data centers, the regions, okay, the availability zones, all those things. We will go into the discovery center. We will learn. We will learn different services. As I was mentioning, there are nearly 100 standard services provided by SAP. What are those services? All those things we will be learning here. And then we will be learning the BTP landscape. Okay. How generally you will be putting, you will be setting up your BTP landscape, the global account, sub account, space, all those things. Not only that, I will be giving you the 3D model of the landscape as well. And then we will be going for hands on. Okay, hands on in the sense we'll be setting up the BTP landscape here itself. We'll be onboarding the users. We'll be enabling the different services like Business Application Studio, the Launchpad service. And even we'll be preparing ourselves for the next sections. Like we'll be setting up our cloud and a cloud setup as well. All those things will be done. Very important. So let's let's move ahead to the topics. Let's move ahead to the topics. You must be wondering why I'm putting this map, global map here. Because of the data centers. As I was saying, we are looking forward to the cloud solution. Okay. Cloud means it is not the real cloud, right? It is the same computer with CPU, memory, RAM in a bulk stored somewhere in a central place. And we are utilizing those computation power. We are utilizing those. We are utilizing those infrastructure. So those infrastructure, where are those infrastructure? You will find those infrastructure from Discovery Center hyphen, sorry, Discovery Center dot cloud dot SAP. Okay, we will see that as well. So that means like those computers, those racks, okay, of hard disk, RAM, memory. Okay is stored different location of the globe. OK. Let's say like from uh, BTP perspective. So these are the BTP data centers. OK, and different color defines different providers. The yellow, maybe the AWS, the blue, maybe Azure. We'll see that. So here we need to understand some important terminology. That is region. Let's say like the first terminology is region. OK, so we are tr trying to understand region. So region are nothing but the location or data center from different places where we have the computation power provided by SAP. So like let's say like we have region in UAE, Russia, Singapore, China, South Korea, South America, North America. OK, Australia, all those are regions. So inside the regions, we have different availability zone. OK, different availability zone. So what are those availability zone? Let's say in Russia, right? We have we have Russia region. So that means like if something goes wrong in certain uh, place, let's say like the some disaster happened. We should not lose our data. We should not lose our applications, right? So this is another beauty of going moving uh, things in your cloud, right? From one frame. So we have different buildings located in different areas of the same region. OK. Different areas of the same region. So from uh, that means so those are availability zones. So these are availability zone. These are availability zone. These are availability zone within the same region. So maybe like whenever you will be storing any application or data, it will copy to other availability zone for your disaster recovery purposes. So you understand the availability zone and region. After understanding the availability zone and region, let's understand now how to choose how to choose a region, okay? How to choose this region? 
So whenever you will be setting up your BTP account, maybe like you, everyone will not be responsible in your company to set up BTP account because mainly the admin folks or mainly the the management folks or maybe like many times the team leads, okay, uh, managers generally set up this BTP account. So how to so whenever you will be setting up the BTP account, you have to choose the region, right kind of region, right set of region, right region. Okay. So how to choose the right region? Okay. So that is our main question. How to choose region? Okay. You have to think about three parameter three aspect of it. First is latency. Latency means you need to think about where are your application user. Where are your application user? Let's say like your application users are in China. So you don't definitely want to put your data center or choose your data center as Russia or somewhere in Europe or somewhere in UAE. One of the major reason is you need to access your application faster. You don't want any delay, latency, buffering. Right? It's kind of like whenever you are watching Netflix or YouTube, if you are hitting the server, okay, you are hitting the server from North America or South America or somewhere in uh, Australia, maybe you will get some kind of buffer. I don't want buffer. User don't want buffer. User don't want to wait. This is a modern world. So whenever uh, we need to choose a region, we need to think about where is your majority of the user stays or using your application from where so you need to choose near to your user location let's say like your users in, in china choose among from different uh, region or availability zone from china itself then after understanding the latency part we need to understand the data security as well so a lot of time it happens that I have seen personally if the application, the customer is there in UAE, Middle East, okay, they don't want to put the data or application somewhere else outside of their own country. And not only like they don't want, there are regulatory, regulatory that they have to have the data like let's say like customer data transactional data okay any kind of sensitive data within the country it should not go out of the country so definitely you need to keep in mind the data security part that means if you want to implement btp application you have to choose region within that same country if the if, if it applies like data security is applies there and then comes the service availability service availability <clears throat> even okay so to to understand the service availability let's let's go to the actual thing i was telling you discovery center dot cloud dot sap let me just go there Enter.cloud.sap. Okay, let me switch my screen. Okay, I hope you are able to see my browser now 
just confirm once. Yes. Okay. So this is discovery hyphen center dot cloud dot SAP. Okay. And here you have this service catalog. Go to the service catalog. Here you will find all the service services listed here. You can see 97 services in total. SAP is providing for different purposes. And then you go to the filter. Go to this globe icon. And you will see this region. And these are the providers Alibaba, AWS, Azure, GCP and even SAP. SAP means mainly the Neo. OK, so we'll be focusing on AWS, Azure and GCP mainly uh, sometimes in Alibaba. From BTB perspective. And what are those regions? We have 24 regions. That means from we uh, from we can we can access or we can choose region from 24 different locations like Australia, Brazil, Canada, China. And <clears throat> so let me just show the labels. So these are the labels. OK. And here there are different license models. I'll go to this license model. Don't worry as of now, but as of now, just remember there are this different different license models. CPEA that means cloud platform enterprise agreement. Pay as you go and subscription based and obviously trial or subscription available in SAP store as well. So maximum of the customers I have seen they are using this. They are using this enterprise agreement cloud platform enterprise agreement. There are a lot of benefit. There are even they are giving they are getting a lot of discount as well. All those cost related things, all those money related things, the all those mm, pricing related things I will come in later part. So. You can see all the providers are providing all this uh, license model. Now let me just go back to the catalog of this thing. And here you can see OK if I just go to the extension suite. So what are the things are there in the extension suite? We have ABAP environment alert notification application scaling application logging application services authorization and trust management automation pilot bandwidth application business application studio. So all this when cloud transport management all these things comes under this extension suite. So people generally think what is this extension suite? OK, so whatever the required services or technologies or languages that you have to use to enhance the core system that is called as extension suit. OK, anything so you can see 63 different services you we generally use for extensions. OK, and I will be giving you maximum not maximum. It is not possible to go through all the services. Otherwise it will either become a very long session or I will be giving you like very high level thing. I will not be able to give you some detailed thing. So to balance out the things. I will be giving you the information from theory, from the practical perspective, both perspective <clears throat> and from real time scenario perspective. OK, so I will be uh, using. It's kind of not kind of like individual applications, but from real time business use case perspective, we'll be seeing those application uh, services. Then we have integration suite. And inside this integration suite, we have this connectivity service. We will see that we have destination, we have event mesh, integration suite. So all those things, even IoT and SAP data intelligence. So all those things are coming here. And even even from capability perspective, SAP has given different kind of capabilities, uh, services like okay, business entity recognition, SAP conversational AI document classification. Maximum of the services we'll see here in our training. Okay. So what what next I was telling you I will be giving you one more thing like the services availability option. OK, so you have to choose uh, region. Based on the service availability, let's say if you want to use the RESTful ABAP programming, you need this service BTP ABAP environment. I do, will not encourage although. 
so here also btp uh, abap environment cpa platform as a, uh, pay as you go and subscription based model are available okay and let's see what are the different regions are available so you can see the regions are europe japan and us if someone some customers are there in russia they are saying i want to use abap environment and they want don't want to put their data into europe you know what is the obvious region right or japan or us just imagine they will go for abap environment or not obviously not and and, and my intention is not to go to that direction okay my intention was just to give you the idea whenever you have to choose the region while set up the btp account you have to check the services availability as well within the region let me go back without going into any kind of controversies so here let's say like alert notification service let's see what are the uh, what are the sorry, what are the regions are available so you can see almost all the regions we have this alert notification service okay i am from all the service plan and i mean all the providers so this is how you have to choose all the regions while setting up your btp account okay now let me again switch back 